1. The Slave and the Lion A rich man had a slave. The man was very cruel to him. So the slave became sick of his cruel treatment. He decided to run away from his master. He got a chance and ran away to a forest. There he hid himself in a cave. As he lay there thinking, he heard the groaning of the lion. He was frightened. As the lion came near, he saw that he was limping. The lion approached the slave and held out his paw. The slave saw that his paw was swollen and a thorn was stuck in it. The slave drew out the thorn very gently. The lion was relieved of pain and went away. Afterwards they became friends. By chance the slave was arrested by his master's men. He was brought to his master who ordered his men to put him before a hungry lion. The day for punishment was fixed. The people of the town were invited to see the wonderful fight. The lion was freed from the cage to pounce upon the slave when he recognized him. He now advanced slowly towards him and began to lick his hands out of love. It was the same lion, his friend. The slave, too, patted him. It was a wonderful sight for the people. The lion was given to him as a reward. The slave was set free. Moral Kindness is always rewarded. 2. The Vain Stag A stag was thirsty. He went to a pool to drink water. The pond water was calm and clear. He bent down to drink water. He saw his reflection in it. When he saw his horns, he felt proud of them. He said to himself, How beautiful and lovely my horns! While he looked to his legs, he felt sad and disappointed and cursed God for this injustice. He was yet to quench his thirst when he saw a hunter with his hounds. Seeing his life in danger, the stag ran as fast as he could. He was soon out of sight. He reached a thick forest, but unluckily his horns got stuck in a thick bush. He tried his best to release his horns, but all in vain. In the meantime, the hounds came running and caught him. The stag now realized that the legs, he had despised a little while ago, helped him in saving his life, but the beautiful horns became the cause of his death. Moral All that glitters is not gold. 3. The Wolf and the Lamb Once a wolf went to a stream to quench his thirst with water. While he was drinking water, he saw a lamb that was also drinking water over there. At the sight of lamb, his mouth began to water. He turned to the lamb and said, How dare you make the water muddy? Can't you see that I am drinking water from the same stream? The lamb got so much frightened that it could not speak for a while. Then it replied, Sir, I beg your pardon. The water is running down from you to me. How can I make it muddy? The wolf said, But you bleated me and called me names last year. The lamb replied, Sir, I was not even born then. How could I abuse you last year? The wolf, who was determined to eat the poor lamb, said to it, Then it must have been your father or mother or brother. You must suffer for your race. Saying so, the wolf caught him, tore him to pieces and ate him up. Moral 
Any excuse is good enough to serve an evildoer. 4. The Sun and the Wind Once it so happened that there was a beautiful contest between the sun and the wind. It was to see which of the two was stronger than the other. The wind was very proud of itself and its prowess. It said, even the mighty clouds bow before me. They know that I can drive them away. And the clouds can envelop you. So you are a small thing before me. The sun said, it is the time that will tell you who is stronger of the two. Soon they saw a man who was wearing a coat. The sun said, let us see who makes the man to take off his coat. The wind tried first. It blew harder and harder. But the man instead of removing his coat, wrapped it more and more. So, the wind failed. Now it was the turn of the sun to try its strength. It began to shine. It became hotter and hotter. Fiercer and fiercer. Ultimately, the man felt obliged to remove the coat. The wind lost and the sun won. Moral Pride at the fall. 5. The Silver Key It was a stormy night. A traveller reached an inn. As the hour was very late, he found the door locked from within. He knocked at the door. The gatekeeper responded to the knock, saying, I have lost the key and the door cannot be opened unless you have a silver key with you. The traveller understood what he meant by the silver key. He immediately slipped a silver coin through the hole and the door opened. As soon as he got in, he said to the gatekeeper, I have left my box outside, please bring it. As the gatekeeper went out to bring the box, the traveller closed the door behind him. The keeper asked him to open the door so that he may come in. Now the traveller replied from within, I have lost the key and a silver key is needed to open the door. Soon the coin was pushed again through the hole and the dishonest man was let in. Moral Dishonesty meets dishonesty. 6. The Hare and the Tortoise A hare and tortoise were two great friends. The hare was very proud of his fast speed and often laughed at the tortoise slowness. One day the hare challenged his friend to run a race. The tortoises accepted the challenge. They chose a distant tree as a winning post and the race began. The hare got ahead of the tortoise as he was a fast runner and within minutes he was not visible when he had gone half the distance, he said to himself, why need I hurry? The tortoise is far behind. Let me take rest under this tree. So he lay down and soon fell fast asleep. The tortoise came at his slow pace, found him asleep and peacefully passed him. He reached the winning post and waited for his friend. When the hare woke up, it was evening. He ran as fast as he could. But when he reached the place, he found, to his great dismay that the slow-moving creature has already reached there. He felt greatly ashamed for having lost the race and promised never to make fun of ethers. Moral Slow and steady wins the race.